All right, our first battle tonight is going to be Taryn Worcester versus Jared Anderson. And it's hard to see from the tower here, but that looks like Jared Anderson closest to the crowd on the outside lane, and here they come. Anderson on the outside is going to try and sweep Worcester, and they're going to be side by side for a little while. Anderson, though, starts to pull away. Anderson by two bike links, but on that left-hand side, he is going to charge from the left. Worcester might have made it a photo finish. We'll see what they say. And it will be Jared Anderson, the 54 bike, with a win. All right, looks like, looks like Devin Johnson will be on the inside lane. Keegan Dale's on the outside lane, closest to the crowd. And we are ready to send them loose. Here they come. Devin Johnson by a bike link. Deegan Dale still in the hunt. Dale's trying to sweep them on the outside. Johnson holding on to the lead. Johnson keeping it clean. He'll take the win if he can hold on. Wow, Dale's charging there at the very end with a push, but not enough. Not enough, and it'll be Devin Johnson, the 124. And it is Devin Johnson. Devin Johnson, the 124, into round number two. Up next, Nitro Nick Beer. Out of Columbus, Montana, he'll go head to head with Clayton Ba. Ba on bike number 225. And that'll be the right lane or outside lane closest to the crowd. Nick Beer on the inside lane, left lane closest to the hill. Wasted no time, they're on it. Nitro got the whole shot. Nitro still in the lead. Ball giving him a run for his money. Ball now eating dust as Nitro Nick heads to the top. Oh no! And he passes him in midair. What an incredible finish. A number 29 seed, Clayton Ba. Let's watch the replay. Look at this. Nitro Nick had it in his back pocket and just short of the finish line, Ba makes a pass in midair. And the underdog moves on to round number two. What a finish. Meanwhile, it's Ezra Quast head to head with Mason Miller. It is Miller time. And that is Miller on the outside. Ezra Quast, a two-time qualifier of Loretta Lenz, certainly knows about racing motocross and leaving the gate. And it is showing right here as Ezra Quas got a big jump there and rode that all the way to the top. And a round number two for Ezra Quas, bike number 391. And he is just 15 years of age, race fans. Tyler Cardwell on bike number 294. Bronson Foyanini on bike number 201. And Cardwell in the right lane, the crowd lane. Foyanini in the left lane, the hill lane. And here we go at the drop of the gate. They're on it. Side by side over the tabletop. Side by side into the turn. And it looks like Cardwell starts to pull away. Foyanini still in the hunt. And they tangle, going up the face of the mountain. Foyanini might get the win, we'll see. It is a photo finish at the top. Cardwell on that far outside as we rocked the replay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Cardwell, and it is. We get the official call from the top of the hill, and it's bike number 294, but another heck of a race. But Hellcat moves on. Casey Pater, Jeremiah Stratton. Here they come over the tabletop. And Stratton looking pretty solid. It is Casey Pater right now out front, but Stratton is certainly giving him a run for his money. Pater now cuts over to the right-hand side. Actually, right up the middle is gonna give Stratton a little bit of room, but not gonna be able to make anything out of it. It's gonna be Casey Pater, your number two seed, moving on to the final 16. Next big battle, Noah Shaver. Bike number 520, 
against the Gorilla, Jason Geisler, bike number 143. And Geisler on the inside. Noah Shaver on the outside. Noah Shaver, a number 10 seed. Geisler, a number 23 seed. Oh, man, Geisler gets straight up and down 12 o'clock as he went into gate number one. And that's going to give Noah Shaver a big lead right now. Noah Shaver's going to take the win. Noah Shaver on to the final 16. Jason Geisler is eliminated. Austin Tyler on the yellow. Bike on the outside lane. And they're on it. Superfly gets out to an early lead. Scrubbing that jump through gate number one. Rennie having some trouble. Down here at the base of the hill, emerges from the dust. He is still rubber side down. But it's gonna be Superfly, Austin Tyler over the top. And ends in a big way. He is moving on. Rennie is eliminated and it's on to Levi, or, uh, Levi Newby. Levi Newby up next. He was your number three seed. And a tough break here for Wyatt Abbey. Levi Newby will have lane choice, so he'll take the right-hand side. Closest to the crowd is Wyatt Abbey takes the inside, and Abbey did get a good hole shot. He is side-by-side -side with Newby right now. Matter of fact, Abbey might be just a tick ahead as Levi Newby sweeps far to the right-hand side, stays on the throttle, Abby's putting up a big battle, finally peters out at the end, and Levi Newby moves on. Levi Newby into round number two. Great job for him. On to Christian Bain, number 19 seed against Dirty Joe Shipman on the 119 out of Cottonwood, California, a number 14 seed, so this will be a close one. This should be a close battle right here. Shipman with lane choice. And Shipman takes the crowd side, the right lane, leaving Christian Bain to the inside left lane. And a waste of no time. They drop the gate and head to the top. Dirty Joe with a handful of throttle gets a huge jump right there over Christian Bain. Christian Bain, oh my goodness, he goes down. And he is not up yet. Dirty Joe Shipman's gonna get this one with no problem. And it looks like Christian Bain is on his feet. Man, that was scary. That was scary. You can see him right there. Just absolutely wads him up. And I can't believe he's gonna walk that one off. And, and I saw what happened. He uh, bobbled down here at the bottom in the crotch just over that first jump, and he didn't have enough momentum to get through that second jump at gate number one. He come up short, and then it was all downhill from there. But the good news is he's going to ride it back down. So big round of applause for that guy walking it off. Christian Bain bringing it down the front of the hill. Dirty Joe into round number two. Meanwhile, Harold Waddell, the gasser. A number 11 seed going up against Matt Johnson. The 142 and Harold Waddell on the inside. Matt Johnson on the outside. Oh, Waddell trying to close the door. Look at Waddell pushing Johnson all the way over to the right. Johnson tries to cut back on the left side, but he had to go through the roost of Harold Waddell. And that Harold Waddell got down and dirty there. Number 11 seed, so Harold Waddell into round number two, and now final parry in round number one. It's Austin Worcester up against Matt Mahan. Worcester will be on bike number 584. Mahan on bike number 690, and let's see if we can see who's up there. Kind of nice having the Jumbotron. We're actually using it from the announcing tower here. So the 690 you can see on the inside lane, the left lane. Austin Worcester on the outside lane, throwing a leg over bike number 584. And again, this will set this will set us up for round number two. Here they come. And that is Austin Worcester on the outside. Oh, and Worcester goes down, I believe. Worcester goes down, and that's Matt Mahan, I do believe, charging his way to the top of the hill. And he was a number 
He was a number 27 seed, Rays fans, a number 27 seed, moving on to the final 16. So congratulations to him. So just like that, we're down to 16 riders. We'll go back to the top of the running order where it will be Logan Sapala going up against the number 54 bike of Jared Anderson. Logan Sapala, bike number 895. Jared Anderson, bike number 54. And it is Logan Sapala, I believe, on the outside. Yes, it is. Logan Sapala, your number one seed, is going to be tough to beat here tonight. Logan has already said he is looking to sweep all four classes here tonight. So far, he has set himself up to do so as he is just killing it here in the X-Climb. Another big win for Logan Sapala. He'll move on to the final eight. With that run, it's now on to the 124, Devin Johnson, head-to-head -head with the rev limiter, Joey Ruminer, the 542. Let's bring him up. Joey, the Rev Lunar Ruminer, outside lane, a crowd favorite here tonight. Devin Johnson, a number nine seed. Ruminer, a number eight seed. Who is it gonna be right now? It's Joey, the Rev Limiter Ruminer, but he has trouble on that outside lane. Johnson is gonna get a little bit of a jump on him. No, Ruminer comes back. Ruminer comes back to grab the lead. And Joey Ruminer will move on. Joey Ruminer moves on. Devin Johnson is eliminated. Next battle will be Clayton Baugh, the big upset. He was a number 29 seed, taking out a number four seed. And round number one, he'll go up against Tristan Alexander, who had a bye. So this might fare to Clayton Baugh's luck here today as uh, Tristan Alexander has not had to really compete against anybody quite yet here in the X climb. Let's see if it pays off for Clayton Baugh. Clayton Baugh, the 225, is on the inside lane, I believe. 566. No, that was five, bike number 566 on the inside. Tristan Alexander on the inside. Clayton Baugh on the outside. And it is Alexander with the jump. Tristan Alexander with the lead as Clayton Baugh having a little bit of trouble there. Now he's having to fight the roost of Tristan Alexander as Alexander makes it over first and Alexander moves on. Now it's on to two-time Loretta Lynn qualifier, Ezra Quast. He's got his work cut out for him here. Quast was a number 12 seed as he goes up against one of the best in the business, Hellcat Cardwell, Tyler Cardwell. Took the X climb here many a time, as well as crowned X climb of the legendary Pokes Hole Hill Climb in upstate New York. One of the biggest X climbs in the country. Ezra Quas, bike number 391, is lined up on the inside lane. Cardwell on the outside lane. And here they come, side by side. Hill climb experience versus motocross experience. Quast on the left lane. Cardwell on the right. And right now, Quast has the lead. Ezra Quast to the top of the hill. Will he take out Cardwell? And he does. Another upset here in Columbus, Montana is Ezra Quast will take out Tyler Cardwell in number five seed today. So that was a big win for Ezra Quast. And again, a two-time qualifier this year, the Loretta Lynn Championship. Congratulations, he's going to the final eight. Another big gun coming back for round number two. It's Casey Pater, your number two seed from yesterday evening against the number 72, Ryan Gallegos. And Gallegos had a bye and he was a number 15 seed. Ryan Gallegos, the goose. Outside lane, right hand lane. Casey Pater, inside lane, left lane. And here they come now. Goose is side by side. And Pater pulls away a little bit, but they come through gate number one. It is still neck and neck. Pater starts to pull away as Gallegos tries to keep his speed up on the far outside, chasing him down and made it a battle. But in the end, it was Casey Pater out front. So the 55, a Dave Perigo moves on to the final eight and Ryan Gallegos, the goose is taken out. Okay. 
So a nice run there for Casey Pater, and I guarantee you Dave Perigo is absolutely thrilled this weekend with the way those bikes are running. Next up, Noah Shaver on bike number 520 took a win over Jason Geisler, as well as Austin Tyler, a win over Ronnie, or uh, John Rennie, and here they come now. And they are side by side, Superfly on the inside, Noah Shaver on the outside. And side by side, swapping a little paint, Noah Shaver starts to pull away, Superfly trails behind and peels off and Noah Shaver is going to the final eight. Noah Shaver, bike number 520, gets it done and eliminates the number seven seed, Superfly Austin Tyler. And now on to Levi Newby and Dirty Joe Shipman. And there's a reason we call him Dirty Joe, by the way. Well, that's because there's probably gonna be a lot of the 119 paint on the 628 bike. There should be some swapping going on here. So Dirty Joe Shipman, he's a number 14 seed. Levi Newby, a number three seed on bike number 628. And Levi Newby with lane choice picks the inside lane, left lane. Dirty Joe Shipman on the crowd side, right lane. This to go to the final eight. And they're on it. Levi Newby, a huge hole shot. And Dirty Joe tacking out the rev limiter. Oh, Newby with a bobble is gonna give Joe Shipman a chance. Joe Shipman up that left-hand side and a race to the top, but it's Levi Newby by a bike length. Wow, what a race. What a race. Levi Newby takes the win, but it was not an easy give me by no stretch. Okay. Heck of a battle for Dirty Joe Shipman, and that's what we came to see right there. Harold Waddell, number 11 seed on the number three bike. Austin Worcester, bike number 584, number six seed. Uh, let's see, where are they? Looks like uh, Harold, Harold on the inside lane. Harold on bike number three, inside lane, left lane. Outside lane, the 690 of Matt Mahan. And what's going on there? Matt Mahan could not get off the line. Not sure what happened there. Not even sure that Harold Waddell knows he is this far out in front. And that was a gimme for Harold Waddell the gasser again. Matt Mahan having troubles getting off the start. So that does it for round number two. Down to your final eight. Here's who you got left. Bike number 895, Logan Sapala. Joey the Rev Limiter Ruminer on bike number 542. We still have Tristan Alexander, uh, Ezra Quast still in the hunt, Casey Pater, Noah Shaver, Levi Newby, and Harold Waddell the Gasser on to round number three. This is to go to the final four. It's Logan Sapala and Joey the Rev Limiter Ruminer. Here they come, the Rev Limiter on the outside, the machine on the inside, the left-hand lane. Sapala pushing Ruminer to the far outside. It looks like they are foot peg to foot peg, rim to rim, thigh to thigh, and Logan Sapala pulls away. Logan Sapala takes another win and now finds himself in the final four. Up next, bike number 566. It's Tristan Alexander head to head with Ezra Quast. Oh, and a huge win. A huge win for Ezra Quast, the 391. He just kept it clean. 
a good clean start, and it was over from there. So Ezra Quast into the final four. He'll go up against Logan Sapala here in just a few minutes. And now on to the 55 of Casey Pater against Noah Shaver. Oh man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a big battle here. You know, Noah Shaver, couple big wins in Billings, Montana a couple weeks ago. Kid's been on fire. But uh, so has Casey Pater on the day Perigo 5.5 Motorsports bikes because they have been dialed in. Looks like, looks like Casey Pater lined up on the inside. Noah Shaver in the black and yellow on the outside, crowd side in the right lane. Down to just six riders. We started off with 93 450s yesterday. These are your final six. Here they come. Side by side, Noah Shaver actually has a little bit of an edge over Casey Pater. Noah Shaver on the far right-hand side. Noah Shaver right now has the lead. This could be an upset. And it is. It is. Noah Shaver, a number 10 seed, edges out Casey Pater in the number two seed. So another upset here tonight as Noah Shaver moves into the final four. Wow, great job for Noah Shaver. And I would not have expected Casey Pater not to make it to the final four, but that is exactly what has happened. Noah Shaver, the 520 is in the final four now it's down to harold waddell the gasser and levi newbie race fans levi newbie will be the inside lane harold waddell the right hand outside lane and they drop the gate they're on it. Levi Newby on the inside, the left-hand side. Two bike links in front of Harold Waddell. Harold tries to make something happen. A little bit of trouble for him at gate number two. Levi Newby pouring it on. Harold Waddell in the roost. And Levi Newby gets it done first. Levi Newby will make it to the final four. So that gets us down to these four motorcycles. It's gonna be Logan Sapala coming up against the 391 of Ezra Quast. Wow, is that gonna be an awesome battle. And in the right-hand line, it's gonna be Noah Shaver, a number 10 seed, against the 628 of Levi Newby. Let's get them lined up. And here they come. It is Logan Sapala on the outside. Ezra Quast on the inside. Ezra Quast in the black and green. Trying to make a battle of it, but it's gonna be Logan Sapala to the finals, race fans. Logan Sapala to the finals tonight. And that means Ezra Quast will come back out to run for the number three spot. So he needs to make his way back down to staging and he'll go up against the loser of this next race, the 520 of Noah Shaver against Levi Newby on the 628. The winner races Logan Sapala, the loser races Ezra Quast. And we are ready to go. They drop the gate, Levi Newby. A nose in front of Noah Shaver. Noah Shaver trying to scrub a little time off that jump. Has to check up. Oh, Levi Newby with a bobble. Levi Newby goes into the fence, and Noah Shaver is going to the finals. Noah Shaver, an upset once again. A number 10 seed will go up against our number one seed here today. So we'll get Levi Newby back down. He'll pair off against Ezra Quas for the number three spot. And that is Ezra Quas on the outside right lane. He'll be on bike number 391 in the black, green, and yellow. Levi Nalubi in the light blue and orange. And here they come. Here they come. Levi Newby 
Ezra Quast side by side. Quast get a bad bounce at gate number three. Levi Newby really starts to pull away right there. Quast coming up on the outside, the far side. He charged there at the very end, but Levi Newby was able to get it done just in time, and Levi Newby will finish on the podium once again here this weekend. He was a number three seed in the 450. He's gonna be your number three seed in the X Climber, number three overall. So congratulations to him. We'll see him down here on the podium in just a few minutes. Again, 93 motorcycles this weekend. These are your top two riders. It'll be Logan Sapala in the right-hand lane, closest to the crowd. Bike number 895 out of Ellsworth, Wisconsin. And the upset tonight, a number 10 seed, Noah Shaver, on bike number 520 out of Billings, Montana. And these guys taking a little extra preparation because we know the whole shot and the gate drop is oh so important. And it's just great there. Levi Newby down here in front of the fans, still getting big cheers. Crowd favorite here this weekend, no doubt about it. And here we go, the finals of the X Climb. And they're on it, Noah Shaver on the inside, Logan Sapala on the outside. Logan looking to sweep all four classes this weekend. He set himself up to do so if he can hold on for the win. Logan Sapala out front, Noah Shaver putting up a fight, but it's gonna be Logan Sapala, his third win this weekend. Logan Sapala out of Ellsworth, Wisconsin and another win here tonight. He is absolutely killing it this weekend. So congratulations to Logan Sapala and Noah Shaver, a great fight this weekend as well. A number 10 seed will grab the number two spot. Congratulations to him. What a, what a battle today, guys. Let's start with Levi Newby. Levi in the semifinals, head to head with Noah Shaver. You went down there at gate number two, sent yourself into the fence. What happened? Uh, yeah, I came in a little bit too hard into that wall and uh, compressed my suspension and then it just rebounded me back and just kind of made a little boner move. Oh man, well tough break, you know. I love the fact you come down off the hill anyways and the crowd still loves you, brother. Yeah, for sure. I got to give it up to the fans. Uh, kind of the reason I come out here is just for them and come out and have some fun. And how about this? How about this outfit, ladies and gentlemen? Can we get a big hell yes for Levi Newby? Man, dude, that is so hard. Is this what we're partying in tonight? Yeah, for sure, for a while until it comes off. Right on, that's what I'm talking about. All right, second place goes to Noah Shaver. Noah, reading big things about you on the uh, internet. You're coming off a couple big wins just two weeks ago. It seems like you were on fire right now. Yeah, finally finding a groove, getting the box figured out. So it's good to finally find some consistency and get some top places. So, yeah. Well, you made it. Out of 93 motorcycles, you made it. You're top two here today. How does that make you feel? Feels awesome. I mean, obviously the competition's really fierce around here, and there's just a lot of top riders throughout the country that come here for this. So just to be able to knock a few of them out, except for this guy, it feels pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this guy right here, Noah Shaver, and he'll be back out tonight in that big bike class. Good luck to you tonight, Noah. Logan Zapala, three wins this weekend, Columbus, Montana. How about that? Logan, it's a, it's a dream weekend right now for you. Really, it's been a dream week. You were in Freemansburg, Pennsylvania last weekend for the AMA Pro Hill Climb Series. You took a couple podiums here. You drove all week. You worked a couple days. You made it out here, and now you are three wins in to sweeping all four classes. Yeah, it's been incredible. The last few weeks have been out racing like crazy. Uh, just so fortunate to be able to uh, race, spend every weekend racing with my family and all our friends and being able to travel the country and being back out here in Columbus for again. I absolutely love this place, love this event, love the hill. I can't say enough great things about it. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for your top three. Levi Newby in third. Noah Shaver takes the number two spot. And Logan Sapala, his third win here tonight.